So in this short presentation I'll show you how to mount a sample for the compensation temperature measurement. So again we have the pellet that came out of the furnace. I have then made two small pieces of styrofoam that will be going on either side of this as a sandwich. I have a piece of parafilm. It's maybe hard to see due to the contrast but that's just the parafilm. And then I have a PT100. PT so a PT100 is basically a small resistance of platinum. It's maybe hard to see but it's this white piece. It has a very very accurately determined resistance. So at zero uh, degrees Celsius it's 100. That's the basic idea. So you measure the <coughs> temperature then using a voltmeter. And with this voltmeter you can measure the resistance of your sample. So if we have a look here, this is my um, my voltmeter that unfortunately now decided to switch off. Okay, there it is. So you see now it's it's giving me uh, 112 uh, as the resistance. If I put my fingers on it, you will see that it heats up uh, to about 114. Okay, so this we have to attach this bit onto the pellet so that we know what the temperature of the pellet is when it does the compensation in the magnetic field. So I make the sandwich, I take my parafilm, I stretch it slightly, then I push, put the styrofoam, the thermometer, on top of this I put my pellet, and on top of my pellet I put the other piece of styrofoam. So I now have like a sandwich burger with a stereofo with styrofoam above and between the pellet and the thermometer inside and I used to wrap the parafilm around it just to keep it all in place and it's probably easier if you have four hands when you do this. So this is basically now giving me the temperature of my pellet. So again my voltmeter you can see it's now dropped to something like these uh, 112 again, but if I now take some liquid nitrogen that I happen to have, <coughs> I can basically take my pellet and now put it into the liquid nitrogen. So if I take the pellet here and drop it into the liquid nitrogen, it will start to boil and you'll see the temperature will drop. So now the temperature is, is dropping and to actually determine the temperature we have a table so this basically looked like this. So it's a sort of a series of numbers. And what you have on the axis is basically you have the tenths here and then the ones up here. So if we are at something like very close to 77 Kelvin, we should read, uh, let's say we are at 80 Kelvin. Uh, we should read something like uh, tenths, so it should be 21 and then it should be 70, so this is the number we have here. So if we have 20, uh, we have about a temperature of about 80 Kelvin, so close to the 77 that we should have. And we see that the temperature currently is something like 20.6, so according to the table that would be around 79, so very close to the 77 Kelvin that we would expect for liquid nitrogen. Now as this take comes out of the liquid nitrogen, it will start to heat up due to the air around it but the styrofoam will actually keep it cold for a while so if you see the temperature it's only rising rather slowly and then what we do is we hold it onto a magnet as you can see in the next video